Climate change and sea level rise are deadly and existential threats to Tuvalu and low-lying atoll countries. We are sinking, but so is everyone else. And no matter if we feel the impacts today, like in Tuvalu, or in a hundred years, we will all still feel the dire effects of this global crisis one day. How many more homes and livelihoods will we lose to the rising seas? Will we have the resources to protect people whose land, which they have inhabited for generations, is now inundated with king tides? Will there be solutions to brace homes and livelihoods from the rising tides? Whether it is internal displacement, planned relocation, migration across borders and oceans, or shifting demographics and preferences, we need to address these issues with urgency and maturity. This is indeed a matter of survival. It is also a matter of our sovereignty, our livelihoods, our identity. And as rising tides force our displacement, our dignity and rights as large ocean states will be under threat. Abandoning one's own community, island or country should not be seen by the global community as a reasonable or adequate response to the climate crisis we are currently in. We can and we must do better. First and foremost is that we are honouring Pacific leaders' recognition of the importance of retaining Pacific culture and social and cultural identity and the desire of Pacific peoples to stay at home in their homelands. Principle number two is to respect and uphold Pacific Island countries' sovereignty and right to self-determination. And thirdly, we want to encourage transparent and inclusive dialogue domestically, regionally and internationally. At home in Fiji, our recently passed Climate Change Act is the first in the world to create a legal framework for community-led and state-supported planned relocation. It is also the first legislation in the world to embed in national law the permanence of our mari maritime boundaries irrespective of the future impacts of sea level rise. The Framework for Resilient Development in the Pacific advocates for risk-informed development, embracing the learning and practices that will help us to withstand the shocks and stresses of climate change and disasters. Within this regional mechanism, the Technical Working Group on Human Mobility was established with the International Organization for Migration as chair and provides a space for coordination of activities and exchange of practices. At the regional level, we see the tremendous importance of platforms like the Pacific Climate Change Migration and Human Security Program and the Joint Working Group on Climate-Related Mobility, co-chaired by Tuvalu and Fiji. These platforms will provide Pacific-led arrangements to support climate-related migration that are informed by our unique cultures, values and ways of life. We cannot wait for speeches when the sea is rising around us all the time. Climate mobility must come to the forefront. We must take bold, alternative action today to secure tomorrow. Tuvalu Modeatua.